Hi everybody, my name is Bob Sisko here at Armanino and now I'm going to walk you through using dynamic allocations to allocate out employee salary costs to your grants based on the time spent working on the programs. So the first sheet we're looking at here is my salary journal entry for myself, Bob Sisko. And next we're going to look at my timesheet, which consists of four different projects. It was 25% of my time on each project, and so we can see how the dynamic allocations will spread the salary cost of these projects. To run the dynamic allocation, we're going to slide into the entity level, where we have created our dynamic allocation for today to save, so save us some time. And it's important to create your allocation at the level you're going to run it. So we're going to go to General Ledger, Setup, and account allocation definitions. And I'm just going to click edit here next to my allocation that we created. And so this allocation ID is the payroll allocation for my employee ID. You will have to create this allocation for each one of your employees. The next section of this is the dimension treatment. And for this allocation, we're focusing on projects, which also which have relationships with departments customer, item, and employee, and our other items we're either going to not consider or we're going to preserve those values in the allocation. The next section is our source pool. This consists of the account group for the salary expense that we created for this allocation, and we're going to allocate 100% of our salary expense for the current month, and we're going to filter by the Bob Cisco employee. Our basis for this allocation is what we're going to look at to allocate out the salary expenses. And Intact is going to look at the statistical account group for the total hours for our dynamic allocations. And this will be the activity accumulated for the month. And this is also going to be filtered out by Bob Cisco's employee ID. This allocation is going to post the entry into the salary expenses in the allocation journal that lives in our allocation book. And we're going to reverse out the salary expense from our original GL of salary expenses. So now we will go back up to general ledger, all, and we will generate our allocation. I'm gonna go ahead and change the GL posting date to 731 and our as of date to 731. And I'm just going to generate one allocation for this example. So I select my allocation and click generate. So our allocation has ran. I received an email from Intact telling me my, that my allocation has passed. So I came back into my allocation log and I'm going to click view to view my entry. And if we scroll down here, we will see that my $10,000 in salaries was allocated out $2,500 for each project or program that I worked in for that pay period. And now we're going to go back up to our general ledger report that we looked at in the beginning. And we're going to customize this report and we're going to add in our allocation book and we will view this report again and on this report we can see our original payroll journal entry as the top line and then below that we see the allocation that we just ran in intact thanks for your time